Hi scientists, I'm Ms. Alasky, 8th grade science teacher at Asa Mercer International Middle School. For those of you that are my students, I've missed you these last couple of weeks, and thanks for those of you that have been checking in with me on Schoology. For those of you that are not my students, I'm sure your teachers miss you as well. Today we're going to start our natural selection unit, one of my favorite units because we're looking at populations and how they change over time. So today we're going to start with lesson 1.2, the mystery of the poisonous newt. What you'll need for this lesson is something to write with and something to write on. Optional materials, if you have someone that you can check in with, maybe a family member in the house with you, or a friend or a relative that you can text or Snapchat. If you have a copy of the Rough Skin Newt article, that's great. If you have a computer, go ahead and log into Amplify. And for an activity near the end, if you have 12 small objects that can be sorted, um, it could be coins, could be building cubes, any small thing that has differences. We're going to start with a little warm up, get you thinking about our unit. So I want you to look at these frogs and then describe the group of frogs in the image. So you can write this down, you can talk with whoever you're checking in with, however you want to record. What do you notice? All right, now you've had a chance to get your ideas down. I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I notice. So one thing that I notice is I know these are frogs based on the shape of their body and their legs, and they look a little bit shiny or slimy. Some things that I notice is all of these frogs have at least two different colors, but not all of their colors are the same. So I notice some of the ones at the top are kind of brown with some yellow or green. In the middle, they're more orange, some of them with brown, teal, or yellow spots. And then down through, through the bottom, there are some that are more reddish and they seem to have black or orange spots. A very important word for this unit is population. So population is a group of the same type of organism living in the same area. So we can talk about populations like the human population of Seattle or the human population in Washington state. And that's how many people live in those areas. We can also talk about populations of animals, like these seals that live in the Pacific Ocean. Or we can talk about populations of plants, like these cedar trees around Mount Rainier. The population that we're gonna be talking about in this unit are the rough-skinned newts. So a wild biologist is a scientist who studies interactions of organisms with one another and their environment. So as you watch this video, listen for why this group is interested in rough-skinned newts. <laughs> Sean? Over here! Finally! It's down here! Uh-huh, and you're sure this time. Hurry up, take a picture before it gets away. What did I tell you? A poisonous nude! This doesn't prove anything. It doesn't even look poisonous. But I read about this guy that died from eating one, and this looks just like it. His friends dared him. That's horrible, but I doubt this is the same kind. Let's go back and ask those rangers if you don't believe me. All right. Race you. Seriously? Whoa. Is everything okay, guys? There aren't any poisonous newts in this park, are there? What? We just found one, and we took a picture. Show her. Hmm. Yep, that's a rough skin newt, and they are poisonous. Well, poisonous to bugs, maybe, but he's trying to tell me that these are the type that can kill people. Is that true? Rough skin newts have dangerous poison all over their skin, and it is true, people have died from eating them. See, I told you, I read about a guy that ate a rough skin newt, and he was all dizzy and his body went fully numb, and he was dead in 20 minutes. Unfortunately, that really happened. We were just a couple feet away from one. We're lucky to be alive. Oh, you weren't in any real danger. Rough skin newts are very shy. Just don't bother them and they won't bother you. So, are you like a newt expert? Well, sort of. I'm a wildlife biologist here at the park and we're researching the rough skin newts. Why are they so poisonous? A lot of visitors have the same question, and so far we have some interesting clues. We know that the newt population has changed over time. There are more individuals with very high levels of poison now than there were in the past. These newts have gotten more poisonous over time? That's right. Hmm. I wonder how they got so poisonous. Excellent question. That's one of the things we're trying to find out. 
Actually, if you guys don't mind, could you show me where you found that, Newt? Yeah, sure. Why do you want to see the place? So I can mark it on our map and we can return there to make observations. Cool. So you heard in the video, Dr. Alex Young say that the newts have become more poisonous over time. So I want you to take a moment and think. You can write down, share your idea with whoever you're checking in with. What do you think caused the newt population to become more poisonous? Dr. Alex Young needs some help figuring out how the newts became more poisonous over time. She's been gathering some ideas, and the two most common things that she hears are claim number one, that some newts became more poisonous because they wanted to. The newts do seem like smart creatures. Or claim number two, that something in the environment caused the newts to become more poisonous. Over the course of this unit, we'll gather some evidence and figure it out.